and welcome back to Transports Fever 2, the UK modded series. Thank you very much for joining me in today's video. Now, last time out, uh, we completed this area, or I completed this area with the engine shed. Uh, a little bit of further detailing, a uh, number of lines were put in for not only for the trains, but also for all the buses. So you can see the, uh, the bus is making their, making their rounds in each city, as well as a bus that goes between Stratford and Shepshed. So there was quite a bit of quite a bit of work done in the last video, but not everything was completed. Now, in this video, I do really want to get the trains running. So I am going to get trains running in this video, but before I do so, there are a couple of things that I just want to make some adjustments on. So after the intro, after the title credits, I am going to make a few adjustments here and there and then I shall get trains running and then after I've got the trains running I do really need to start looking into the water I've actually downloaded another mod but not installed it yet uh, to do with the water and to do with maybe getting a, a maybe getting this water working in a, in a better fashion I'm not sure if it's going to help uh, hopefully it does if it does not then well, I'm just going to have to see what happens. But at the moment, this, this water is what is causing me the majority of the um, issues. That needs to go. So, yes, after the intro, as I said, make sure you stay tuned for a little bit of adjustments and finally getting some trains out uh, onto, onto our lines. This could be a, actually a really good... Maybe from there could be a really, really good uh, screenshot to try and get these trains out, but I shall have to see. Anyway, that is enough of the rambling. We shall get started and see what I can come up with in the coming episode. Right, step one is one of the things I noticed just recently is that these these single tracks, they're great and all, but it would be better if I had... Can I connect that in somehow? So it would be better if, if I can manage this... Apparently this is not a thing that is going to happen. Um, th there is something I'm going to intentionally try to do. So let me get a junction up first. Let me just see what kind of speed I can get this junction at. 35, 37, right. So this could end up being a 35 mile per hour junction. Uh, why is it 35 miles per hour? It should be... 25 miles per hour although I suppose it is going to a double track so fine 35 let's just do 30 let's just do that so this is a tighter junction than than previously and the reason for it is because as I said I want to try and right, this is not this is not working the way I want it to work so I'm going to do this in a different fashion I'm going to build a 10 mile per hour track there then I'm going to build, I'll try the 50 one again. Uh, there's 50. So this should be 50 through all of this. I'm going to have to double check that. So let me just see. Oh, is it 60 through all of this? Apparently this one is not. What speed is this one? Oh, it is 50. This one is 50. I just need to do that. There we go. Right. So that is now 50 like that. And now we now we just have buffers here. And this is what I was trying to do. I'm just going to bring that back just a bit to ensure that the buffers are fine. And then I'm going to put a um, signal box right here, right on the end of the buffers. Uh, it needs to be, is that the level I want it to be? Perhaps, let me just see. Let me see. 
Uh, I think so. I think that is the, the level I want it at. So there we go. So now we have a signal box here. And indeed I am going to just put a very small... Can I, can I put a, some sort of path here? Any little path? That's massive. I said little path. Unfortunately, that is going to give us housing. I want I want that path with no housing. How do I do that? Where do I find that? There it is. There it is. That path right there. So, let's build anywhere. I could just build it up like that. Does not really matter. And just build that like so. So we have a, a little path here to to the signal box. And th this is what I wanted to do. These are the changes I, I wanted to I wanted to make. That being said, that's pretty uh that's pretty far having a look at it. Probably just do Well actually, no, that that could be okay. Then what I'm going to do is I am actually going to add a little bit extra detail in that area when when I get around to it, not just yet. So that, that one is fine. Um, this one is, I guess, okay-ish. I need to figure something out with, the, with this particular signal box too. This one will be controlling all of these junctions, I, I suppose. Uh, on this side, we pro probably want to do something similar. So, again, am I going to cut that, bring that in, stick the signal box on this end? So, oops. So, what, what I am just attempting to do, what speed are these? These are 60 mile per hour tracks. So, what I'm attempting to do here is. Actually, you know what? I could just do this. wait until that just gets up to again I, I should really probably put this speed down so 40 and then could I do this the only reason the only reason I'm doing this is to be able to cut that back just a little bit just a little bit but not enough for for it to be as big as the other one and then stick the signal box right there build anyway click right is that how build anyway works and there's our signal box that's a bigger signal box isn't it why is that so big is that how big they all are it was just Yes, I suppose that is how big they all are. It's just that over here it looked rather small because there's nothing in the area. Right, so where is that? Here it is. So I will just throw that in. There we go. And probably delete that. So now we have a signal box there. Um, let me put the rest of the signal boxes in. And now on this side, the signal box could be interesting. Um, I guess I could just put the signal box right next to the signal. To be to be honest, we'll have to work. I'll have to work something out here about it being up on the embankment and how to connect it to the road. Oh, I'm sure I can come up with something. We'll have a look here. That I do want to to do a little bit of of working in this area so realistically i guess i could put the signal box here but it isn't just going to maintain this this one bit in fact it will be even better to have the signal box just here i say signal box it's probably also manages now points would be not managed through there. points would have to be manually managed i'm sure there's a way nowadays to to move these things also move points change points um junctions that is 
I'll have to I'll have to see. So just sticking a signal box in there. Again, this this area is a little bit bare, but I, I have some ideas. I'm just not entirely sure how to pull them off just yet. So at least just getting the signal box in there, leave this as it is, just that bit will be fine. And then over here, I suppose I could put the signal box quite uh, quite close here. There we go. And I, I guess I could very much just uh, have this road just connecting like that to to the end. In fact, since the since the path is there. Um, maybe, just maybe, I should build it at this level and just let it connect up into that area. There we go. This isn't great. Um, perhaps the node tool will, will help me here. Can you lift that by two meters? You can. That's a great node tool. And lift this one by a meter, please. There we go. Not too bad at all. That that does that does work fairly decently for me. So there we go. We have that all connected. Those little bits are done. Uh, the next thing I would like to try before I before I start releasing trains is I would like to give this one more go just in this area I'm not going to do all of it uh, just in this area make this quite small I guess um, and just have it lower things at very low strength I suppose just see how that pans out okay so that is how that would pan out and I do need it to be going somewhat uphill still so even though all of this is going to be lowered it doesn't mean it's going to be lowered all the way and once the trees and everything go in then then this show this shall look hopefully quite quite good and the idea here is to to let the, the streams come out from this just little areas and let let it just look like the streams have cut through through the ground um, it just turns out to be quite problematic to do such a thing so obviously all of this is, is not a problem um, and I'm just lowering just very gently lowering it doesn't have to be perfectly lowered anywhere where it it doesn't need to be seen or will be covered for the most part with trees like all of this area it doesn't really need to to show how much it how low it is to the ground and how you know how, how covered it could end up being or how how much of a, a gap there there really is and then obviously this area here will just lower up into sort of like a beach kind of area and that's perfectly fine. This isn't great. I might try and find something that can change the colour of of said river. But see, that doesn't look too bad just with this these little bits of lowering and then and then of course I'll go around smoothing some of these. As I said, does not need to be all too uh correct as long as it looks okay but this bit is where it needs to be fixed so I'm just going to try this section here so the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to lower this section we're also going to have to so I'm just going to grab this bit here there now I know this is perhaps lower than than I would want it to be so I need to, this is where it, it becomes important to really get this, this height correct. And I think that height is, 
is reasonable. I'm then going to go ahead and paint it with the water. The paintbrush needs to be quite small to get this correct. This is, it is quite easy to do this once, once you've, once you've got your ideas properly down and properly figured out. So that is, that, that is quite easy. There we go. And I could always, you know, do the banks in a slightly different colour, add some, add some flowers or whatever. But this is where the problem is going to occur. So, what I want to do is I need to grab the track, whatever speed it's supposed to be at, which is 60, I believe. Yes, it is. And you'll notice it will try to do that. And I do not want that. So, the first thing I need to do is figure out just where this track needs to end up well actually no i need to put a zero height bridge in i'm going to run zero height bridge the entire way the problem is is actually getting this zero height bridge to work because at the moment it, it just seems to be causing all sorts of issues so if i go ahead and do that i've clearly selected a zero height bridge i'm going to go ahead and do that and the bridge never worked and I do not know why this is a thing and this is the trouble I've been having I'm not sure if this mod works anymore and if it doesn't work anymore that that could be an issue I'll try you know whatever um, zero height bridge on I'll try I'll try whatever I can if it doesn't work I'm going to have to find a a different mod oh hello it worked this time. That's not a bad bridge, but it is using concrete, and that that looks really ugly. Um, and there goes that massive amount of lag. I do not understand what this lag, what is causing this lag on bridges. I thought I told it to select that. Uh, it looks like it selected the one above it. Again, some sort of issue. No, I do not want that one. So as long as I just get this bit done, I know I can do the rest. Um, maybe, maybe if I go ahead and select a random, let's just select, I don't know, that bridge. Oh, this one. There we go. Try now. That isn't the bridge I selected in the slightest. So you see the problems I am uh, I am having with with this bridge selection. Yeah, it, it is some something has gone wrong, and I think I need to find an alternative mod to the zero height bridge because this is not doing what I want it to do. Well, now it did. Okay. Um, I'm going to have to figure something out here, but this is better. This is certainly better. Zero so height bridge now off, and to try and do this, I'm going to try and do something here. So I'm going to use the build anyway because it's going to break everything, but it is enough to break this bit and then this bit, and then I'll do the same thing here build anyway that will break these two bits so this bits here and this bits here can connect without a zero height bridge leaving us just to connect this section which is what I want so let me see if this works now it keeps putting that in the middle that it is going to be really important not to have that in the middle and I'm just trying to see how far down was that so it was selecting this one, right? So I'm just wondering if I selected this one, what would it give me? If I select that one, it gives me that one. And now it isn't lagging. How bizarre. That's it. 
that will bef before anything goes wrong i'm going to literally keep that i'm not going to worry about anything else there so we have a, a some sort of a a river let me see if i can do the exact same thing here so if i just do that and i don't know that break 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 um Lower, nope, that's smooth. Lower, lower, lower. That could be a little bit of a problem, but, but I will look into it and try and fix that. There we go, lower that side. In fact, I will just sort this bit out when I can very quickly. Figure this one out, which is the... It's Country Roads, uh, which one is it? 40, 50, 50, there we go. Please tell me you do something, okay, that isn't very good. Um, let's try, let's try this. No. Is it because of this side? Uh, just do that. Cut this back just a smidge. Please work. This is not working. This is not working the way I want it to work in the slightest. But we have options. We have options. For example, that one. See how that pans out. Okay. Please do something. Um, what would happen if I just connected there to there? No good. Uh, there, so there, there must be a way that this will work. Will that let... I mean, it sort of lets the stream through, so I may have to leave that just temporarily and work on... work on this going forward. Otherwise, otherwise I'm going to end up spending way, way too much time doing this. And, uh, as I said already, I do not want to spend too much time figuring all of this out. It's just the... this railway area that is... that is going to be more important than than anything else. So that is that one done. Uh, this bit I'm going to have to sort out at another time. This bit doesn't actually connect. And then there is one other, which is just here that I want to fix. So for this one, exact same thing. In fact, before anything, what I'm going to do is create the area that I want the bridge in which is just this bit here because that will really help then go ahead and lower the lower this area exactly the way I want it to be now wait for the auto save to go and as you can see it is taking a little bit of time but it, it is working um, we are getting there slowly but surely and all of that. Hopefully everybody is having a great Thursday. I know this is coming out on a Thursday as opposed to its usual Tuesday. Uh, next week's one, hopefully, should be out on, on a Tuesday. And that one should be potentially one of the ride-alongs, maybe. I'm not entirely sure exactly how I'm going to do it. But ride-alongs are, are due. I'll do the, as I said, I'll... I will fix the rest of these bits up as time goes on. There's so much to do in this series, still so, so much to do. And then just smooth this out just a tad, bring that up there and there. That looks okay. And bridge on. What do we get? Perfect. Absolutely perfect. First first time. First time, no issues. So the train will go over that and you see water, a stream. Yep, 
That works great. Okay, this area is still something I need to work on. I'm not entirely sure what to do there, but that bit works and that is all I'm going to do for the streams. So at least I know those bits are completed. Um, and then obviously detailing of trees and stuff along along the side will will help uh, certainly will help quite a bit and uh, just very quickly i know i'm about halfway through this video or more over halfway through the video top tip received uh, from and i do need to get this name right because this was excellent um what is it electros industries hold shift whilst i'm painting to get rid of to to override textures i did not know this i've been playing this title since before it was released i did not know this was a thing so very quickly let's go ahead and try this so it's this one here's some of the tree textures that are annoying the whole shift and the tree textures are overridden exactly as I wanted it and exactly as as they said it would be although that being said I just noticed that it also overrides every other texture including the ballast right let me quickly do this then and then I'm going to have to redo the ballast this is going to be interesting um, ballast 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 there we go um, okay so something to be aware of is that your ballast will be also uh, painted obviously you just have to be a little bit careful I suppose there we go. So it, it works it still works it still looks good There was something under this ballast as well, wasn't there? It looked like they did dirt and then ballast ballast on top, but mm, that's fine. It is completely fine. So, yes, just very quickly going to do some of that. Um, tr going to try and be a little bit more careful now. As um, I do not want certain textures being overridden, which I only just noticed, as I said. So, just going to be a little bit more careful with that. But this opens up a whole heap of opportunities because I could now place, for example, wildflowers on, on the side of the track or, or whatever and it, it will show it up. So, yes, this is, this is excellent. I'm going to have to do this very slowly and methodically because, as I said, this is going to take uh, some time, clearly, but it is a start. It is definitely, definitely a start. This was supposed to be a uh, water as well, wasn't it? Although I had no idea what to do with this one because of the fact that this is uh, into the ground. So I was just thinking, well, how am I supposed to do that? And... I probably will not end up doing that bit. So yes, let me just do do the rest of this very quickly, and we will get the trains on on the uh, routes. As a, as I said, we would in this video. Trains that is important. Just try very try very hard not to mess up the as I said, the, the mud or the dirt, and then the subsequent. Ballast. But that just looks so much better having the grass actually properly growing. It just it just works. See that just looks empty. Barren. Not barren as such, but then look, now it doesn't. It just adds this this just this little bit of extra depth. And I do mean a little bit. This isn't this isn't major, but I would say, though it isn't major, it is certainly noticeable. And anything that is noticeable, I would say, 
is important, even if it is a small detail. If it's a small detail that you will notice, I would say that is important. And I'm not going to do it everywhere, of course. As I said, this is going to take a lot of time. It will be, have to be done methodically. Uh, but I will do part of this route. Not Again, I will not do all of this route. Although not all of it needs to be done. So there is that too. I've also noticed, uh, again, on my travels in the UK, that there are, apart from this, this whole thing here that I noticed um, on, on single track railways, uh, th there are a lot of tree thickets, as I've mentioned before, uh, with regards to with regards to thickets and trees. There appear to be a, a lot more than than perhaps I initially was thinking. So I'm going to have to figure something out regarding those, which I knew I was going to have to do something about it, but. I think that may be a bigger task than than I had predicted it to be, at least at, at the start. Of, the more I've been doing this, the more I've been realising that, okay, there, there's a lot more that needs to be done. But, as I said, th despite that, I seem to be able to, to do the majority of it. Uh, and it is only little bits that I look at and I, I think, oh, well, that is, that is a problem. Or this is going to be impossible or whatever. Um, yeah, it, it's just not going to be something I can do. So this is, this is working really quite, quite well right now. As long as I do not mess up with the edge of the railway, as I've mentioned a couple of times now. This is this is all sort of okay. There we go. Oh wait, there's there are some trees here still that need repainting. Much better. Much, much better overall. Now I need to figure out if the eraser would work with this. Is that all of these? No, let me just do this bit here. I may even put some wildflowers in that bit. In fact, I might do that. I might just mix in a few uh, wildflowers in the area. There we go. I, I will say one thing. This this series has become... When, when I first envisaged this series, I did not think that it would end up being well, all of this. Uh, with, with this level of detail. I wanted to do some amount of detail, as you saw with the farms and everything, but I did not expect to to be sitting around doing this sort of detailing uh, for for anything, really. Uh, I thought, you know, once I've done farmland and, and borders on farms, that, that is probably going to be uh, the level of detail we're going to get. Put the railways in it, it is just going to make everything look great. I didn't consider streams, I did not consider sitting around painting grass like this. Uh, I, I did not, until I think I did the uh, early to West Brom railway, I did not even envisage the idea of having uh, tree lines in, in, in the fashion that I have. I thought, you know, put the odd clump of trees here and there, and maybe that will that will do but yeah i ended up doing a, a lot more than than i thought i would which has been rather interesting really. there we go that i'll probably clear this bit up shortly and as i said i'm not going to go around doing all of this that that is just going to take way way too long so let us now start getting some trains so I'm thinking one train would be going there, one train would be going there. So realistically, do I want two trains for this route? Um, I've also realized that given where the trains are going here, this may need to be double tracked. But I'm going to have to see. Even for this, we, we've got 
some potential issues here for for double tracking some of this but let me see what kind of vehicles i can buy so from from here please i would like to buy some do we have some great western vehicles we do um just a a standard tank engine please uh g w r steam please there we go that that could that could do the trick um all this i mean i guess those two variants are just what it's showing uh it says r r means reverse or not no r is a i have no idea no idea what the r is for right let's go ahead and pick some should we pick some 1890 trains let's do that and all of them are going to be the same all of our um vehicles are going to be exactly the same so what how many do these carry six these carry seven um these ones carry six these carry eight a four-wheeled eight we have four-wheel early four-wheel late for eight we have bogey ones which is not something we need uh, we also have uh, gresley ones which i do not think we need those are going to be rather heavy too i think four wheel late will do and we shall have now uh, what color should these be i think i think this color will do so we'll have a, a front brake a first class uh two third classes and a uh, brake at the back there we go that looks fine by me so we'll have one two for that we'll have uh one running the route from stratford to uh, wherever it was chagford so that is yeah that that is those ones completed then we'll have the stratford to so we'll have two more so there we go those are our vehicles right this could turn out quite problematic i'm going to see how i manage to pull this off if possible what do you mean unable to find path stop can you not exit out of here Come. oh no you cannot go through that can you do not tell me you cannot go through that I may make an engine shed on the side just for the sake of it. Oh no, you can. You can go through it. Okay, that is good. I do want to um, get a screenshot of these trains being released, of course. So I need a screenshot. I think that there would be quite good as a potential screenshot let me go ahead and see what i can do uh, up let's have a look you see another train you see two more trains i want to kind of get the other locomotives that are sitting off to the side also in shot um which would mean that or if I bring the focal length down, just to just to have some extra detail on this, it's just just to give it that that little bit of an extra look. Um, there we go. Just just seeing those trains off to to the side. One, two of them. Should have brought them and just parked them up here, but oh well. That is okay. So that is one on its way. Um, yes, what what is the problem with the last train? So it would come through here. It would. Oh, I see. I see the problem. That is my own fault. Let me try to um, rectify said problem. 
would you be able to find an exit slot now? Um, also, I guess you are in the wrong spot. So I'll go ahead and figure that out. Um, one, two, three, four, and was it rear brake? Five, by that, onto the um, Stratford Chagford line, you are going to work. And then if I go ahead and click which other, wait. What other depot do, what do we have here? To Stratford. Oh, look at that. Now we have multiple trains exiting, ready to... Yeah, now, now we are talking. So, if I... If I can plan this correctly, and try and plan this correctly, just for another, another potential screenshot, If I can do this, that is, I may not be able to pull off what I'm attempting. Right, you, you go there, you start moving there, there we go, and then that is what I wanted. Good zoom, see the trains in the distance. That could potentially work. Maybe. Okay. Maybe not. I'll try something anyway. I mean, it is a potential thumbnail. It just isn't quite the thumbnail that I was hoping for. Oh, well. It is something. So we've got one train going that way. One train going this way. Every, everything is starting and working in, in our favour, kind of. Th there is going to be a problem. So I'm going to see if I can uh, rectify the problem right now. And that is going to be this line. On its way back to Kingsbridge, it needs to be at plat platform 2. There we go. That is better. Right. Now, the other issue I think we are going to have is the whole idea of the double track here because, well, I've realised that we we have four trains going here, so how is this going to work? Somebody is always going to be stuck in traffic and we're just going to have to figure that out somehow. So, for example, in, in, in the case of this one, we actually have an issue already. Yes, we already have an issue, because that is in the wrong platform. I'm actually going to get this to cross it. Oh no, never mind. It is. It has decided to turn around. Go to all Stratford upon Avon. Well, thank you. Well done. Massively well done. This one has reached where it needs to be, and if we have a look at the routes on this, they are going into two different platforms. The wrong platforms. I will say that, so you need to go into that platform and uh, you need to go into this platform, that makes sense, and we have people waiting, ready to ready to go. Uh, so that's the Stratford Chagford line, and how many people are waiting? Nobody. Nobody's waiting to go to Chagford. Why is nobody waiting to go to Chagford? Is Chagford really that boring? Well, the station here is busy. Every, everybody wants to go to Stratford. Perhaps I want to go to um, perhaps I want to go to Westfield or something, something like that. That's Stratford, London, not Stratford upon Avon. Uh, but still, the poor attempt at a joke stands for now. Okay, so we have movement. Things are things are going. Uh, traffic is is building. Why does everything seem to be coming into the wrong platform here, though? Why, why are you coming in the wrong platform? 
Oh, well, you've turned around as well. So that's fine. Thompson to Stratford. Why have you turned around? Oh, I suppose because you did realise that you are on the wrong platform. And you will wait, which actually helps because that that helps clear this up a little. So this, this may all just pan out really, really well. There's a busy, busy station already. Look at that. We have a very busy station. Okay. And in Sudbury, we also have a very busy station. So we shall have to bear that in mind. And over here, perhaps, perhaps for the thumbnail, we should, if I pause this right now and just start, let, let me do a little little bit of work here just a little bit um, so if we have some sort of dirt and just low strength I say low strength that's still fairly high strength just along the edges I just want to see how I'm going to be able to pull this off so maybe not dirt maybe just that's water dirty mud not mud. Uh, what would it be? Soil. Soil zero one. What does that look like? That is better. That is actually a lot better. So this is what I'm going to do. Just in this area. Just going to put this soil down. And I'm not going to do this for a, a long distance. I'm just going to, this is just a trial. A trial run. So I'm just going to do it for whatever I can see for a th perhaps potential thumbnail. So just I'm just going to perhaps take the thumbnail there and and see if I can uh, can do something. So if I pull the soil up all the way up to up to here. In fact, I guess for this one I should just pull it up all the way to here. Now, of course, the the idea of these streams are that the streams are going to be fairly small. Uh, it isn't going to be perfect because, well, as I said, that we've got this, we we have this sort of uh, problem with the resolution of textures. So this is going to be there's only going to be a certain resolution of texture I can manage, and that is going to limit me on on what I can do with said stream and of course then we've got the whole smoothing and all of that and how I'm going to manage that so see that just brings everything up which is not what I see that smoothing just is not working so I need to focus on somehow lowering these bits and then smoothing just these bits out but so I do not think this is going to be possible in the way putting that strength really down. Maybe if I look at it like this. There we go. It is a little better. Just smooth. There we go. That, that is a little bit better. So now that we have that, I'm then going to uh, paint some some of that dark grass in. Uh, whichever one it is, it's uh, this one. So I'll paint some of that. Uh, again, now at this point, perhaps I'm going to bring that strength down just in this area. that is done. Why is there grass in there? I, I do not understand. This, this is going to be, I think these streams, to get these streams looking right is going to be a big job. A really big job. There we go. Water, dirty. Try again with this. Do that. See, it is very, very difficult to get these streams the right size, the right everything. 
Okay. Then I'm going to try and put some trees. So actually, actually, why oh, don't I just try and put these along the banks? I think that could I think that could really work. I'll get some, as I said, I'm just going to do a small area and then that is just for thumbnail purposes. And then that is the end of uh, this particular video. Now hopefully next week's, hopefully next week's video comes out on time, but it probably will not. It depends on whether I get a chance to to record it on time or not. That is the, the big question. So if I'm going to take the screenshot on from this side, realistically I guess only bits of it need to be only bits on this side need to be worked on. So I'll just do this and then add some lighter ones. We want some depth of course. Again, who thought that this would be the kind of detailing that I would end up doing? And certainly, it is a lot of hard work, actually. I want to try and bring some colour to this too, but I'm not sure how I'm going to manage colour in this area. That, that does look more like a a river bank or a stream I say a river bank a stream bank as opposed to you know um, a river bank which I suppose that there are differences streams rocky that that is a big thing yes rocks if I could get some rocks onto this I think that is going to look excellent Yes, let me let me attempt that then. So if I can do some of this and then get some let's put the, some of the dark ones back in. And then try and put a few rocks in the way. Then maybe I should put a sign up as well, warning of ducks or something. Actually that is looking quite good. How would it look from a picture though? Say a 55 mil. So it's taking if I was taking the shot like so. Oh, I may need to get to a 35 mil camera lens for this. Yes. That would actually look half decent. I think it is just a matter of rocks and some maybe a little bit more grass. Let me see what we have in terms of rocks. Stones. No. No. No, no. No. I want small rocks. Tiny little... Uh, perhaps? Do I want a darker one? Do I want... Uh, purpley one, do I want a brighter one, do I want standard? Then you can make them smaller. We can have granite, we can have sandstone. Uh, we can have, I don't know what kind of stone that is. Um, unfortunately, I cannot read German for that. I know that's granite, sandstone. Uh, Felstein. I feel like I should know that one. I feel like I should know that. Um, yeah, I don't want those. Yeah, not, not those. Um, granites. These are just big rocks. So if we sat that there, would it look... It doesn't look out of place, but it doesn't quite look in place. That doesn't make any sense. A little bit of lavender, perhaps. Just, Just throw it in. 
There we go. Yes, just adding some colour in and amongst this. That that could perhaps fix some of the some of the issues. There we go. Just a bit of colour thrown in. A bit of lavender. Lavender is, is a wild plant, so it, it would grow just like that. Um, maybe some chamomile. Oh, actually, that brings in lovely colour. That really does. I'm now clearly interior designing. Um, actually, that that looks very nice. Anything else I could have? Um, I just want to see what these tubes look like. I do not think so. No. No. Vera, no. Something that would be near... Reeds. Reeds. Reeds are normally in... Right, do we have reeds? No. Yes. Yes, we do. There we go. Okay. So just the occasional reeds, I guess. Just on the banks. Just a little. Here and there. So we have a few reeds there. Some reeds just along this edge. You can see them. You can still see the mud underneath. Just, just putting in odd bits of reeds and I think and, and you can see exactly how long this would take to detail to get this all in, into the quality that I, I would perhaps want for example um, so yes you, you can you can definitely see the the effort that would need to be put in to to get this looking quite quite right there we go reeds down the stream yep perhaps just just here I'll, I'll put some more water in in a moment just to finish it off um, but that is starting to look really good water dirty just just pop that straight back in the middle get rid of the majority of them just in the middle there we go Okay, and now all we have to do is wait for wait for a train. So I'm actually going to fast forward this to end this uh, to end today's video. So let's go ahead and see this train is yep on its way back. Come on, here you go. We'll, we'll do a ride along as I said. May have to do this one actually. I'll probably have to figure this out at some point. I'm wondering if this is going to work the way I want it to. So yes, because that is going that way. That is now going that way. This train's coming back. It will then get stuck in traffic. There's a train here that is stuck. This may all just pan out surprisingly well. And that is saying something. Why is there so much traffic? Very confusing. The number of people waiting at the station, though, this has become... An extremely busy station, very, very quickly. So I just need to wait for it to come, come up to here and then not mess up. That is the important bit. So I just want the train to just, just appear just here, I think. And that is where uh, I shall end, end today's video. I mean, even this area looks somewhat detailed. I think trees and stuff need to be added over here but um still every time i try to make a video less than an hour now in transport fever 2 it just does not happen um i'm going to slow that down because i'm going to use this opportunity to delete remove this there we go here comes the train with 36 passengers now I've got one shot at this here we are and I think pause right there and let me see what kind of shot I get oh you cannot say that that is not going to be a good that is I would say 
excellent uh, photo right there. I just need to get that little bit in. Come on. No, there we go. Just need to make sure that that bit, this bit is not missing, which is just that ever so slightly annoying because I'd want the train just there we go just there in order to be able to move this just enough to take the shot I think that is that is definitely the thumbnail look at that that really looks as as it should so that is where I'm going to end this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on Transports Fever 2, the UK modded series. Leave a comment in the comments box below letting me know what you think. Don't forget to support me on Patreon if you can do so at www.patreon.com slash ecgadget. Your supports would be massively appreciated. It would really, really help me out. And also, you can find me on social media at ecgadgetlp for both Instagram and Twitter. Lastly, do go check out my Discord server. Link to that is also in the description box below. That is all from me. And I shall see you next time in Transports Fever 2, the UK modded series where... I think it is time to do... Or oh, we'll have one... Two... Possibly possibly three ride-alongs so we can start with a ride-along from Sudbury all the way over to Taunton then and perhaps from Taunton to Kingsbridge jump on a different train go to Kingsbridge Stratford upon Avon jump on a different train and then go over to Chagford I think that could very well be the plan so make sure you stay tuned for that again thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time in Transports Fever 2 the UK modded series